Hi, I'm going to show you how to start prototyping with large language models in just minutes with Makersuite. I'm Ray, and I'm the product manager for Makersuite, which is a browser-based tool to prototype with the Palm 2 model quickly and easily. Makersuite allows you to create three types of prompts. Let's start by creating a new text prompt. This is an interface that lets you send a prompt string directly to Google's Palm 2 large language model using the Palm API. What are large language models, or LLMs for short? You can think of them as a very sophisticated autocomplete. If I send text like, you can lead a horse to water to the LLM, the LLM is going to respond with the text that's statistically most likely to follow based on its training data. In this case, that's the phrase, but you can't make it drink. You can call the text, you can lead a horse to water, the prompt, since you're prompting the LLM on what to say next. There are countless things that you can build with the Palm API, whether that's an email writing assistant, a content summarizer, or a movie recommender. Makersuite lets you start prototyping your idea in minutes. This lets you immediately get a sense of whether your idea is feasible and shows you how the Palm 2 model performs on it. For example, let's say I want to try using the Palm API to create poems. I can use Makersuite to send the text, write a poem about dogs, to the Palm 2 model and see how it responds. In this case, it created a pretty good poem, so I now know that the Palm API could be used as a poem generator. I just showed you how to use the text prompt by providing the model with instructions. However, one of the most common ways to prompt is with what's called a few shot prompt. It's called a few shot prompt because you give the model a few examples. For example, let's say I was interested in using the Palm API to build a grammar corrector. I can provide the model with examples of input it might receive and outputs it should provide. In this case, inputs are sentences with incorrect grammar and outputs are sentences with fixed grammar. Then, I can see how the model responds to an input that it's never seen before. I can hit run and see that the model correctly fixed the sentence. This style of prompting with examples is so common that Makersuite has an interface for it called a data prompt. Let's go to a data prompt now. In a data prompt, you're given this table to provide examples of what you want the model to do. Let's add the same examples that you just saw. I can also provide the model with labels of the inputs and the outputs. In this case, inputs are labeled as original and outputs are labeled fixed grammar. What's happening here is that this table is being converted directly to the same freeform text that was provided to the model in the text prompt. This data table just makes it easier for you to visualize and manage your examples. Like you saw earlier, I could just stop here and prompt the model with only examples. However, I'm provided with a field to optionally add instructions if I think the model needs more context. Let's try the context, rewrite sentences to fix mistakes. You can see that the context is being sent to the model alongside the text of the examples. If I wanted to experiment further, I also have settings I can change. For example, if I wanted more variability in my answers, I can turn up the temperature. Temperature injects more randomness into the model's output, so it can sometimes lead to more creativity and unexpected outputs. I can test the model again with the input. Again, I see that the model correctly fixed the sentence. I now have a functional prototype of the Palm API as a grammar improver. You saw that I was able to build this in seconds without writing any code. I can hit the Save button to save my prompt in Google Drive. I can also hit the Share button to share my prompt with teammates. I'm now satisfied with my prompt, and I want to work with it in my developer environment. I can click this Get Code button and get code for an API call to the Palm API. My work in Makersuite, including my settings, instructions, and test examples, are all stored in this code snippet. There are an endless number of new ideas to try out in Makersuite. To get started, go to makersuite.google.com or follow the links in the description. Thanks for listening and happy prototyping.